In the highlands of medieval Ethiopia, a new power was rising. A ruler who would reshape Ethiopian history and establish a dynasty that would last for centuries. This is the story of Emperor Yakuno Amlak, founder of the Solomonic dynasty. God, I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. The Zagwe dynasty had ruled Ethiopia for centuries, but as time went on, their rule was seen by some as illegitimate. Legends portray the Zagwe as usurpers, non-Israelites who had interrupted the line of King Solomon. Yakuno Amlak's supporters believed he was destined to restore Ethiopia's Solomonic line. Yakuno Amlak's claim of Solomonic descent wasn't just a title. It was a narrative, a powerful story that would justify his path to the throne. By invoking his Solomonic lineage, he inspired followers who believed he was meant to reunify the land under a rightful heir. A famous tale from Yakuno Amlak's rise tells of a rooster prophesizing outside his home for three months. According to legend, the bird foretold that whoever ate its head would become king. When the rooster was finally cooked, the cook discarded its head, which Yakuno Amlak found and ate. From then on, destiny called him to the throne. This tale, like so many others, was woven into the fabric of his legend, making Yakuno Amlak's rise appear like fate. According to tradition, the Zagwe king, suspicious of Yakuno Amlak, imprisoned him on Mount Mallet. Yet, Yakuno Amlak managed to escape, fleeing to rally support from his allies in Amhara and Shewa. His escape became yet another piece of his legacy, a tale of resilience and survival. With his followers and assistance from the Muslim Sultanate of Shewa, Yakuno Amlak raised an army, determined to overthrow the Zagwe and reclaim the throne. In 1270, Yakuno Amlak and his forces faced the Zagwe army at the Battle of Ansata. This decisive confrontation would seal his victory and end the Zagwe dynasty's rule. Yakuno Amlak emerged victorious, ascending to the throne as Emperor of Ethiopia and founding the Solomonic dynasty, a lineage that would endure for centuries. As Emperor, Yakuno Amlak took on a new royal name, aligning himself with the ancient kings and the mythic history of Ethiopia's past. His reign marked the beginning of a new era. Yakuno Amlak's reign was marked by both cultural achievements and political challenges. He commissioned the construction of the Genete Mariam Church near Lalibela, which today still holds some of the earliest surviving wall paintings in Ethiopia. He maintained strong ties with neighboring Muslim leaders, especially in Shewa, while working tirelessly to strengthen the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Despite initial alliances with Muslim emirs, Yakuno Amlak's efforts to appoint a new Abuna, Ethiopia's bishop, strained these relationships. He appealed multiple times to the Coptic Church in Egypt, yet often faced delays due to political interference. Yakuno Amlak's legacy... If you enjoyed this story from Ethiopian history, please like, subscribe and let us know what historical figures you'd like to learn about next.